Good morning, Interboro. Please rise and salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, stay tuned for this edition of K-Scope. Hello, I'm Julie Tran, and welcome to this week's edition of Kaleidoscope. Seniors, it's not too late. Instant Decision Day with the 14th Pennsylvania State Universities are hosting a virtual admission event on December 8th and 9th. Check your email or talk with your English teacher for additional details. Anyone interested in joining the winter track and field team, please get your name to Coach McGrady. Practice will begin soon, so get registered on Family ID, get a physical, and be ready for a great season. Thank you. Tell everyone who you are, what you do here, and how long you've been at Edinburgh. Good question. Long enough to have taught your mom, <laughs> Emily's dad, and mom a long time. This is my 52nd year, I figured out. Mm -hmm. I started when I was 12, a special program for the, uh, they needed teachers in those days. For 35 years as a teacher, actually one of those years I was assistant principal, the longest year of my life, I hated it. I had great respect for administrators, I just didn't want to be one. And now I've been activities coordinator, uh, which I really enjoy for the last, say, 15 years. And um, I've been student council advisor for back when both of your parents were here, so yeah. no longer have to grade papers and do all the annoying but important parts of teaching. How do you like incorporate student council with everything being virtual now? Great question. We're, we're trying all the time. We, I mean, it's hard. We, we did have our officer elections, which was great because it actually worked. And, um, and we did other get kids sign up, so we have reps, but we no longer have homeroom reps because there aren't homerooms, so we're constantly looking for things. Like we're doing a conference this weekend that's normally in Washington, D.C. We've gone a number of times, but it's, and I did get five kids to sign up. Ms. McHale and I are both doing it, but it's virtual, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, that must be complicated. It's weird, and it just isn't the same. I mean, as I would say, Interboro and these other things, wherever we're doing, we're doing the best we can. Yeah, how have you been keeping yourself busy with lockdown and quarantine and all that? During the quarantine, good question. We did do our, we do a leadership training camp that your mother went to, that's how far back it goes, at Susquehanna University. And um, we did it virtually over the summer. So I worked a lot with people around the state doing this. We had 200 kids sign up and it was a two day thing and it took a lot of preparation to do that and shift. And again, it was okay. It wasn't wonderful. That kind of stuff. Um, of course, at home I annoy my wife by being around too much and I walk, I play golf and I play tennis, so you know, that kind of stuff. That's cool. But it was those months from, I was very happy that the school board invited me back here in this capacity to do some things. because yeah. I. I'm not a good sit around guy. At all. I'm the same way. I have to always be doing something. I am like, one of those people home. usually. Yes. Yeah, but yes. So you, you obviously have changed like a bunch of lives in the time that you have been here. What's been like the most important part of your career here at Borough? Man, that's a tough one, Abby. Um, I guess one way or the other, I've changed <laughs> lives. Um, your parents, for instance, hopefully for the good, but not necessarily. I mean, um, but it's you know, I have this file. It's called a bad day file, and it's it's a, just a file folder that over the years has expanded. And kids and people were nice enough to, you know, drop me a note or email me or something, and I save them and stick them in there. So when I'm having a bad day, which is rare anymore because I don't have papers to grade and all those things, I, I whip that bad boy out and look in there and, oh yeah, it's like an oh yeah file. You look, you go, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that kind of thing. That's sweet. You just won an award, right? Well, yes. I didn't know how, I've been trying to low key this because it doesn't mean anything to people here. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I did. And um, it's the saddest award I've ever heard of. What First of all, when you're an old guy, they start coming up with things to give you because they don't know what else to do with you, <laughs> award-wise. This is an award in my very, very good friend's honor. 
He's from California. I worked with him with student leadership for 30 years. Wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, sadly, he contracted the COVID thing mm -hmm. in the early days and, and passed away. So this organization, which is called the National Association of Workshop Directors, invented this award in his memory and honor. That's the wonderful part of it. The terrible part is that you know, it's in his memory and he's not yeah. around anymore. So it's called the Harry Betancourt Legacy Award. His name was Harry Betancourt. Mm -hmm. And it's a very mixed feeling kind of a thing. Uh, yeah, that's cool though. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. And thank you for coming and letting me interview you. I'm delighted to. Can I just leave one message here? For everybody, be careful out there, be safe, be smart and take care of yourselves. We're all going to be back together normally sometime. Thanks, Abby. Thank Wonderful you. to have you. And Emily, thank you both. <laughs> Message from your guidance department. Seniors, letters of recommendation for colleges should only be requested through your Naviance account. Please do not request them in your Common Application account. If you've requested any letters of recommendation in your Common Application account, please cancel those requests and submit them in your Naviance account. Reach out to your counselor if you have any questions. A common mistake we're seeing in your Colleges I'm Applying To list in Naviance is that you have not specified how you're submitting your application. It needs to state via the Common App or direct to institution. If you leave it as a question mark, then your materials cannot be submitted. Please check your Naviance account and ensure everything is up to date and correct.